My name is Karen Morton. Uh, I'm a senior database administrator with a specialty in performance and tuning. And I work for Fidelity Information Services, or for short, FIS Global. Uh, FIS Global is one of the world's top-ranked technology providers, but we basically um, fall into the area of financial services in that industry. So um, with over 30,000 people employed by the company, we support nearly 15,000 customers worldwide. Um, so we have such a broad base of clientele that the IT experts within the company um, have lots to do to service reliably and um, with a great deal of quality and performance. Um, uh, our customers that we do serve. We actually were working with an Oracle 9 and 10 databases, but primarily Oracle 10, uh, that was 10R2. Um, and we were um, trying to get to the bottom of some long-standing issues um, in our application which supports um, uh, title business um, that is our primary customer. So um, the tools that we had been using were basically Oracle Good Grid Control. Um, we'd used some other uh, third-party tools here in Yon, but basically we had a lot of homegrown scripts and command line stuff um, with some grid control thrown in. Well, we really were having a difficult time pinpointing some of the root causes for problems that were occurring. In particular, we were having um, note eviction problems that had literally been eluding um, the team for several months. They occurred intermittently and um, the data would kind of disappear in a window prior to when they occurred. So um, through all of the tools we had and even the scripting and some of the monitoring things we had put in place that was supposed to be capturing data, uh, we just weren't getting the picture. It seemed like the critical pieces of information were lost um, at the time of, of an eviction. So um, again, nothing we had was really working very well. And so we were looking for a way to be able to rapidly diagnose the problem or other problems in addition to this one, but primarily these note evictions is what drove us to look for a tool that could give us um, better ability to do that. Um, it's actually been fantastic. Uh, as I mentioned, we had spent uh, several months um, kind of chasing our tails, trying to figure out what to do with, uh, with some of the problems we were having. Um, we had thought we had gotten to the root cause of, of the issue several times, and it turned out not to be the right thing. So once we brought DB Optimizer in, and uh, within a week, um, I was able to pinpoint uh, one of the critical problems that literally had eluded us for months. So it was a matter of it being able to capture at the level of detail um, what we needed and actually retain that even through a kind of catastrophic occurrence on the database. So, um, so it was a very fast return um, once we got the product in and started using it. Well, I think the biggest thing is that we have gone from spending um, weeks or even months um, looking for problems and then their associated fixes, um, and we have cut that down to um, hours now. So uh, we are able to get to the bottom of a problem with the data supplied by DB Optimizer, use um, a lot of the visual um, uh, tuning elements of the product, to dive into SQL that's problematic or um, a lot of the detailed information that we used to have to find that was related to, say, poorly performing SQL, things like the statistics and indexes and all that. We used to have to go all over the place um, hunting that data. And with DB Optimizer, we're able to get all that kind of in one-stop shopping. So we have very quick access to what we need in comparison to what we used to have to do. So I'd say the big key um, and the big benefit that we've gotten um, and the return that we've gotten is for um, being able to get 
uh, productive faster. So we're not spinning our wheels and we don't spend hours and hours and hours of time, which is billable time to our customers. So we can get on to doing other things rather than just spinning our wheels trying to solve um, a problem. Uh, extremely supportive. Um, uh, from the outset, um, I had some questions about kind of how to use the product, um, certain things that were happening on my end that I don't think had been necessarily seen in the product before, and responses um, were virtually immediate, um, at least in my mind that's how they seemed. Um, I was always responded to very quickly, very professionally, uh, with a, um, a very strong emphasis on making sure that I knew I was being heard and attended to and that my problems were important. So to me, that just really meant the world. Sometimes it's very difficult um, when you're trying to engage um, uh, with a vendor to get some, um, something worked through, an issue worked through that may be kind of unique to you. And uh, the entire um, uh, product management and development staff uh, with Embarcadero for what I had to go through was just uh, terrific about uh, the level of support provided. Absolutely. Um, one of the things that, uh, that my Embarcadero rep um, was able to do and still does very regularly is he reaches out um, every so often just to check and see how things are going. Um, it's not hard sell, it's not upsell, it's not any kind of sell, it's a hey how you doing? It's a feeling that um, there's somebody there who really does have an eye on um, how um, they can be part of a solution to what makes my job easier every day. Um, so those periodic contacts um, with just checking in and so forth, asking to see if there is anything um, that I need um, and uh, any additional products that may be of help and all that, I'll go along with it. But I think it's kind of the personal element that where you don't feel like you're just another um, you know, checklist off of the who do I have to call today kind of a thing, but it feels more personal and more direct and that they're in tune with um, what I do and what uh, my needs are.